Today's question for us is, does God still speak? I mean, sure, we know that God can speak. You know, we've got a record of it. It's all in the Bible. But does God still speak to us today? We can find out this exciting question when we think about ourselves, when we think of the question, who's the boss of your mind? You know, do you have a peace-filled mind? Well, how can you find such a peace-filled mind? Well, first, it's not in social media or about watching television. You see, all that news out there is really just stuff pulling you away from your family and friends. The first question that you should ask is that, how does the Lord reign in your life? You know, who's keeping you from obeying the truth, the truth that's in the Bible? You see, in our land, we can elect our rulers, we can choose what school our children can go to, and we can even be part of a church that we like. You see, it's not easy for us when we try to hear and understand words like, God reign over me, God control me, God lead me. See, we like to have our choices. In Jeremiah chapter 31, it says, but surrender your heart to God. For I have loved you with an everlasting love. You see, God loves you. God loves you with love beyond your understanding. Because there's no human love that's comparable to divine love. He wants to forgive you. He wants to have a relationship with you. Why don't we pray now? God, I know I'm a sinner. I ask you for forgiveness. I believe Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that he died for my sins and that was raised to life. I want to trust him as my Savior and follow him as my Lord from this day forward. Guide me in my life to help me do your will. Go out and be a blessing, folks.